Good evening, everyone. Welcome on behalf of Global Online University. Uh, here we are with our next video for research aptitude that is for UGC net paper one practice questions. Now in this video, I have included some questions as well as some concept also. So it will be easier for you to do the revision uh, from the start also. Before this, there are two research videos which I have uploaded. So I just request you everyone before you see this video, uh, please go through that video because it's it's it has a link from the starting. Before we start with our video, let's uh, make an announcement on behalf of Global Online University. We have started a mock test series on our channel, which is for paper one and which gets telecasted daily at 8 a.m. in the morning. And this pattern is going to stay till the time of examination. So all those students who want to make your preparation more uh, stronger, all those who want to initiate it can make a use of it. Plus, we have a complete syllabus test of uh, here is an important announcement for every one of you. Uh, we have started with our uh, new batch from uh, 12th of April. Now this batch is our WhatsApp paid batch. So anyone who is having uh, interest in the same and wants to go for a rapid preparation can contact this WhatsApp number for the details and can get the information and can start your preparation. Now uh, let's start with our uh, uh, questions for the day on research. Now, I just want you to be very careful. These questions are a bit simple, but you have to think properly and from all the point of view. Now, here the question talks about a college teacher presents a research paper. So I'm just circling the words which are important for you and which you have to keep in mind in a seminar. So they here they can change the question in any form. First, let's read the question properly. The research paper cites references which are pretty old. The situation will be described as the case of what? Is it a technical lapse? Is it an ethical lapse? Is it academic ignorance? And or it is an inability of updating research source. Now, please try to understand the question. The question can be twisted in any form. Okay. Now we have research paper either in the seminar, in the conference, or you can, they can just twist the words. Okay. Now what they're telling references. Okay. References are pretty old. Now, every one of us knows that research, uh, whenever we take any references for the research, we have to take the recent references. That is maybe uh, like last five years, so like past five years, not beyond that. So if it is very pretty old, so it means that the, the teacher who has presented the paper in a seminar is, is unable of updating the research resource. There is no lapse at all. There is no ignorance at all, but there is no ability of updating the research uh, source. So just be careful that this, so this questions give you, you know, view from many point of view. Aapko research paper likhna hai, seminar mein likhna hai, ya conference mein likhna hai, ya you know, you are writing a research paper for a, uh, 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 I mean to say a recognized journal. So they can twist the question in any way. Aapko sif itna yaad rakhna hai ki research likhte samay, jo bhi references aap cite karte ho research paper mein, it should be updated. Okay. So yahaan pe teacher ne kya kya hai? She has inability of updating the research resource. So that is your option number D is the right answer. Next. In an intervention-based action research, see this question in all my two videos, previous two videos of research aptitude, this question I have bar bar reflect kiya hai, so that it hits you or ye aapko clearly yaad rahe. Action research ke steps humne pehle hi video mein dekhe. Which of them are usually recommended? So that is, it's nothing but hum planning se start karte si, agar aapko yaad bhi nahi hai. So obviously hum observe kar Se start nahi kar sakte. Reflection yane jo baad mein hota hai, observe. So this is ideally these threes are not an option. So aapka option kya hoga? Plan. Fir hum act karte hai. Fir hum observe karte hai. Or uske hisab se hum reflect karte hai. So it's very easy. But you have to, you know, aap bohat baar, you know, in, 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 in a hurry, you mess up with the answer. So you have to be careful. So here the right answer is what? Right answer is option number one. Then, in which of the following steps of research? This also I have done in video number one. The scope of the scope for creativity and imagination is utmost. So, kaun se step may creativity or imagination ho sakti hai? See, identifying the research problem and denying it nahi. 
figuring out related problem and techniques used by other research no it, you can't put any creativity in it identifying the variables and hypothesizing uh, hypothesizing it yes yes it is it is the creativity we can show in this data analysis and presentation nahi analysis to jaise humne collect kiya hai we have to do according to that only so here we can do it in the step of what identifying the variables and hypoth hypothesizing it so this is option number c is your right answer next a college teacher does research with a view to depict the reality situation relating to home conditions of students so ek research ho raha hai jahan pe aapko reality uh, real situation depict karna hai batana hai home condition of students and hostels provided for which of the following research format will help to do so to kaun sa uh, research format aapko ye real situation reflect karega is it experimental no it is descriptive no participant observation based research you have to observe how the students react ethnography no so it is basically what your observation skills will work out so here it is observation participation observation based research okay now uh, next is uh, what do you consider as a main aim of uh, sorry this is uh, this is not the question this i just i have conducted this uh, question so just just cancel it out this is the three topics which i have taken in the uh, today's uh, lecture is one is characteristics one is specific objectives now why specific because in my first video i have done general objectives and research design so we will just have a look at this three term uh, concepts research uh, design so when we are talking about Uh, so basically uh, we are going to see the characteristics of research now the reason to take this question is that you may get it in a statement form and you have to either the odd man out or you have to you know uh, find out the correct one so just just go through the statements so research is one which is planned in advance it is systematic we have seen this in last two videos also but in a different form of question it's empirical okay that is it is based on the real situations it is logical objectives it is objective yes it has accurate it it is accurate in procedures instruments test and measurement we we need to have 100% accuracy over here it is an in depth analysis of eliminating errors or anomalies it's logical okay which you just deductive and inductive reasoning it is reliable we have done this reliability objectivity and measurement at the same time it is valid so this questions i mean to say when you get get a statement form of question they can give you uh, three right uh, characteristics and one will be odd man out or one will be the right and three will be odd man out so you just need to remember that there are characteristics such as planning in advance systematic approach it's empirical data it is objective it is accurate it is an in depth analysis it is logical it's reliable and it is valid so this these words are very important coming to specific objectives now the specific objectives in accordance with uh, bloom's taxonomy uh, that is uh, containing of uh, the domains such as knowledge application analysis comprehension evaluation and synthesis now if you see i have there are a lot of words which uh, defines knowledge when we talk about knowledge it is identification recording relating defining describing indicating outlining stating the reason to give all this word is you may get any type of word and not the main uh, question so this word uh, you can just pause a video for a minute and you can just go through all this words so that even if the words get changed and even if you get it in the form of objective you should be able to write the question like for example they may write list out the uh, find out the correct objective specific objectives of research so they they may give the words as integration or you know contrast or extrapolate that is comprehend or differentiate uh, calculate and one they will may give you odd one so you need to find the odd one or you need to find the right one so this words will help you out so just pause the video for a minute okay and go through all the words in silence that is it will help you out to understand what does it means and how you can get a question in different format so that is your specific objectives 
and then coming to research design as a topic. Now here you may get a question, what exactly is research design? So it's a framework of uh, methods and techniques. It is selected by the researcher for the study. Now these three, there are three main uh, sections of research design. Again, you may get a question out of this. One is data collection, one is measurement and one is analysis. Uh, then they may give you the uh, research design includes what? So definitely it talks about the purpose of the uh, statement of research. It tells you about the problem statement. It tells you about the objections or objectivities of the research. It tells you about the settings or the environment where you have, which you're going, which is a part of your research study. What is the type of methodology you are going to undertake? What are the say, sampling techniques? a scale of measurement and method of analysis and the time period. So this is what comes, it is not a step, okay, it includes. So the, you may get a question out of this. So this is very, very important. So I repeat again, so you should be knowing what are the characteristics, you should be knowing what are the specific objectives. I have done general objectives in my first video and research design. What is research design? So as I said that, you know, in a limited time, we can just cover up with your research theory as well as question and it will help you out to, you know, uh, go through the things in a very systematic manner. Now, when you're watching this video, I just want you to take some extra time and read this three slides properly and understand it once properly with your little bit of writing notes so that whenever you get a question on this, you can be able to solve it easily. So thank you, everyone. We'll be back with our next research video tomorrow. And till then, Keep practicing and keep preparing yourself best for your upcoming examination. Thank you, everyone.